Good morning, YouTube. It's Aisha. Wanted to do a, a quick card share. Um, it's more so a share. I've uh, got a couple cards that I want to show you and some uh, latest shopping that I've done, if you will. Um, hasn't been much. Um, if anybody's heard me say before that when it comes around to this time of the year, all the, the cute clothes that's in the stores for Cortland, that's what I spend my money on. So crafting takes a back seat to um, cutesies. <laughs> Cutesy's clothes for Cortland during this time of year. So, um, very minimal craft shopping, um, but I'll show you what I got so far or lately. Um, so, everybody's been raving about the Prima Doll stamps. And ever since they first started talking about them on Facebook and YouTube, I was like, I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them. I've even gone to a couple websites, put them in my cart, where the websites that they were in stock on because again you couldn't find them for the longest time um, but when I found out Ellen Hudson had them I went on immediately and I put them in my cart now the intent was to check out and get them but I'm thinking uh, I could probably find these cheaper someplace else so I um and I'm sorry I'm distracted Cortland's uh, Whatever that is, Pokio is super loud. Anyhow, um, I went, put them in my cart, never got them. So weeks later, I'm on YouTube and I see everybody's posting about that they received them. And so I'm envious. Now I'm like, man, I should have got them when I said I was going to get them. And of course, a lot of places had them sold out. Luckily, Ellen Hudson still had them. And um, they were sold out all but one. So finally, I went ahead and placed the order. Um, I did have a 10% off coupon for them and Simon Says Stamp due to a card class that I'm in. Um, so I used my 10% off coupon. So what was originally $7 ended up being about $6.30 each. So I saved 70 cents each. Well, you know, I guess that's fine. That's it's better than nothing, right? However... After I placed my order and everything, I went on Uzak's website looking for some other stamps like La La Land, um, CC Designs, and I saw that they had the Prima stamps, and they were $5.24. And so, of course, I was like, man, I was super bummed because, of course, they, most of them were sold out. And I'm thinking, like, as much as I shop from Uzak... I visit their webpage quite frequently, but because I haven't been really spending anything money on craft stuff, I haven't gone to their website in a while. So, of course, I missed out on that deal, and I was totally bummed. But um, either way, I got them, so I'm happy. All right, so these are the five that I got from Ellen Hudson. Um, along with that, I got me some Distress Stickles and the Rock Candy. I have this in the dry, but I prefer this one over the dry. Um, and then I picked up a gold gel pen. Um, and then from Simon Says Stamp, I went ahead and ordered the last stamp set that Ellen Hudson had didn't have in stock. I got some uh, Hero Arts Memories Unicorn pigment ink and then I also got their hero hues in the black this is a dye ink I got some sequins from them these are the silver these are the assorted multicolor I have the gold and then the iridescent I think those are like 80 cents on Simon Says Stamp. The stamp pants were like anywhere between 6 and $7. And then I picked up two of the Hero Arts and Balsam Powders. One in the white and one in the ultra fine white. Uh, that was all I got from Simon Says Stamp, so I did really good. I made sure that I kept my orders under $50 for both Ellen Hudson and Simon Says Stamp. So I set myself a $100 budget and I was so good. I stuck to it. Um, and then 
just some of the stores that I went to around and about. Uh, yesterday, I went to Archivers, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, and Joann's. They're all in kind of the, like the immediate vicinity where I went. And at Archivers, all I really was going for was enamel dots. I am absolutely in love with enamel dots. And every color that it had, I picked up one of them. So, I wanted more. I wanted to pick up two of each, but I was like, I'm going to be good. So, though, that's what I got from Archivers. And they were $4.99 each. I got 30% off one of them. So I ended up spending $23 there. Um, and then I went into Joann's, which is right next door to Archivers. And I looked around, didn't see anything that I wanted, and walked out empty-handed. I am so stoked about that. Like, that never happens. Um, but then I went to Michael's. And at Michael's, what I was really looking for was the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. So they didn't have it at Joann's. Um, they did have it at Michael's. I checked while I was in Michael's to make sure the price that was going to be at Hobby Lobby was, you know, was either the same or less than Michael's, and it was actually the same. But they allowed me to use a Joann's 50% off coupon. So what was $15.99 ended up taking eight dollars off. So I got it for eight bucks. Um, and then Jaredell, who is uh, Crafty Me 83 did a tutorial on how to do make flowers. This is the stamp that she used and it was at Michael's for $7.99 so I had already used a coupon so I paid full price for this which was okay no problems. I'd rather get $8 off than $4 off so um, then I bought this fine liner. Can you see that? It looks like it's so dark. Maybe that's my shadow. Okay, maybe that's better. It's a Studio G fine liner. They had it in the um, Studio G bins. And they had a couple different type markers. And I thought I'd get one of these and try them out before I get the other colors. And let me see if I can find a piece of scratch paper. Oh. Alright, so how am I going to do this? Okay, so let's see here. So here is the pen. It makes this. Let's see here. If it's anything like the multi-liner, the, you can do thin lines. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, even all around. So I thought they'd be good for like when I do dash lines and different colors around my cards. So I picked up one of those. It was a dollar fifty. Of course, they're two for three. And then I got some of these individual alphas. I like these when I'm trying to just personalize a card, maybe put someone's name on it. So that's what I got from Michaels. That's all I got from Michaels. Yay me. All right, now I was going to do a card share, but I want to keep this video under 10 minutes. So I'm going to end it here, and then I will come back with my cards that I've done. Thanks, guys.